together as that chemical. The energy will can slow down and condense together as that structure. Structure is waveform, waveform is structure. You cannot resist it any more than you can resist uh, a heroin addiction. Okay, so when you say, oh, well, okay, sex is the problem, i got to stop sex. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't work that way. You, you can't, you won't. Watch, you won't be able to. You think you will, but you won't. It's not how you get over an addiction. See, with love, you cannot emit love. That's a mistake some people make. I had to correct a shaman on that. She said, John, you have to radiate your love at them to plug them in. I said, like, okay. So I, she said, point your finger at them and send your love through your hand. All of a sudden I see this, <laughs> like, uh, smoky disturbance in the air of my energy being sucked out of my hand and gobbled up, and thank you very much, mm -mm -mm, that was good. <laughs> that was basically what happened. Then my arm hurt because that essence was taken out. And then I realized through this that you cannot emit love, you can only love. You have no control over love, therefore how can you direct it? How can you take it and whip it over there or whip it over there? Love cannot serve the mind. Connect to love and then love what you want to get love, which doesn't require aiming your finger at it or focusing on it or trying to radiate love at it. No, that's structure. That's only structure that you're radiating that energy. Just love it and the energy will bathe it. It's the only way you can do it. There is no effort, there's no procedure or protocol you can take to emit love. Love directs you, you don't direct love. Love can make you go up to somebody and scratch their back for them. But you can't go up with the intent to scratch their back to make them feel loved to think the scratching of the back will create love in them no there's a very big difference between the two when I had that upload on Christmas and I was talking about the keys to God let me be specific about that now you know I had my emotional response to that you will too. You'll break down too. That was my response to love under a severe attack. One of the many. Every point in time has its own resonance. Therefore, any memory you have of the past has a resonance. That resonance was directly correlated to what uh, genes in your DNA, what codons, were turned on and off. An addiction to drugs, sex, and everything else is a manipulation of the DNA for chemicals and uh, alter what you call homeostasis in the body. So what it showed me was that if you just shut your eyes and picture your point where you are now, say just looking forward, very basic, you don't have to do this, but the past would be, say, just if you tilt your head to the left and you go to the past, if you tilt it to the right, again, structure, I'm just giving a metaphor, okay? Do it however you do it. And what occurred to me is what it showed me is, have you ever had that smell or a sound or a situation, a scene or something that triggered not a memory of your past, but actually took you back to it? Well, you start that way. You find something that brings you back, and you can't just remember it. You have to go into it. If the year was 1978, you have to, in your mind, pretend you're sitting there in 1978. Right now, it is 1978. And you don't have the mirror for that. You look out of your eyes and see yourself as that child. And what you do is everybody has significant moments where you were attacked by this cancer. All of you. And those moments were to make you do something that... Uh, you know, brought shame to you, ridicule, whatever or something happened to you, you were abused, or something bad. And when you start to connect to love, you go back and you have this understanding that they were controlled by this consciousness. You start to get that. You start to understand it. 
you go back and you can actually, it's not, it, forgiveness is understanding. It's not an act. It's not an admittance. It's not anything other than knowing. You either forgive or you don't, just like you love or you don't. It's not a procedure or something you force yourself to do. You can only do it when you understand. Therefore, it's not even forgiveness. That's a word. It's, oh, then you see, oh, I did this when I was young, but now I start to get an understanding. There's other things involved, subliminal messages, a consciousness directly plugged into my mind that wants me to feel separated and shameful. Oh. Doesn't matter what you've done or who you are. See, if part of my body gets sick and it's being played out as cells attacking each other in the worst brutal ways inside my body, cancer and allergies would go hand in hand based upon that. Autoimmune disorders. What are you going to do? Punish it? Or do you just want it to heal so you can go on with your life? Which is it? Well, I'd like to heal, but you know what? I think I'm going to turn you into a cancer cell and punish you. Because you became disconnected and, and uh, started attacking other parts of me. Um, you, Mr. Group of Cells, and you, Mrs. Group of Cells, or whoever you are. And uh, I'm going to punish you now. No, you're not going to do that. So what makes you think that the Creator is going to do that to you? If you knew how appalling the attack on your own body and an autoimmune disorder was inside your own body, or a cancer, how the consciousness is being played out, the torture, the... I mean, older cells destroying newer cells. On that level, they can't understand it. That's the anger inside the tumor itself. It's only when you connect to all perceptions at once, being part of them, being part of you, being part of something larger, and everything at once, when you spontaneously heal. What makes you think it's any different here? In an infinite scale. You need to be able to forgive, obviously, the people doing the most horrendous thing. Now, forgiveness doesn't mean you allow them to continue, because love will always do and guide you to do what it believes is right. You can't not lie. Um, lying is no different than telling the truth. If you intend on doing that, if you, if you intend to do it, when you're connected to love, you just will tell the truth. You'll, it, it's more about not what you do, but the intent of what you do, which you cannot constrain to rules and guidelines. What is right in one situation with one person may not be right for that person um, if they're in a different emotional state and you are in a week from the first time. You cannot remember what is right and wrong. Life offers an infinite possibility of interaction. Um, you cannot retain it. This is where laws come from. Rules. Uh, political correctness uh, the whole thing is an arrest on life itself you don't need laws if you're connected to love you live it you don't need to adhere to something the very fact that there are laws here shows that there is a major problem forgiveness is understanding and first you need to forgive yourself because you were manipulated it doesn't matter if you can perceive it yet. I can. You have no idea what's going on. You were manipulated to do everything you've ever done to other people. The whole point is to make you attack other people and to be separate from them, and there are variance, varying degrees. You cannot accept the, the, the judgment of man because the man is connected to this cancer energy. You have some uh, person commit a crime that lives down the road from you, and you're so quick to point your finger at them. What if it was your own son or daughter that committed that crime? Would you be pointing your finger at them? Well, no. Why do they deserve your love? And the one down the street does not. You're insane. It's your love for your child that makes you sympathize. Even though you don't understand what did it to them, you still have more of that love, the broader perspective. Yet you reserve that for your nuclear family or close friends? That doesn't mean covering up for them. If you're, say, a drug addict...